crab and corn and pumpkin curry chowder. So completely terrific to buy uh, a nice, even, madras uh, style curry powder and use a couple palmfuls of store-bought curry powder. Or if you have a big, deep spice pantry like I do, it's a great use up for so many things. In the pan, I've toasted our curry base spices. Cumin and coriander. We have a few allspice whole berries, a small piece of cinnamon stick, fenugreek, which really gives it that curry smell and depth of flavor, and yellow mustard seed. So you toast all of that in a small skillet, let it cool. We toast spices like we toast nuts to develop their fullest flavor and their fullest depth of flavor. So when they get really fragrant and they start to pop in the pan, that's when they're done. Cool them down so you can touch them with your digits and pop them into your spice mill. If you can't find fresh turmeric roots, it's getting more and more popular. You can, of course, substitute uh, ground turmeric in your homemade blend, or it'll already be in the blend if you're using a store-bought curry powder blend. So then, for the next layer of flavor, I guess you'd say, for this um, chowder, we have ginger root, right? Break it up into manageable size pieces and use a teaspoon to peel ginger. It really gets in and out of all the nooks and crannies. Now, I've been rendering out, oh, a quarter to a third of a pound of nice meaty bacon to get our drippings to start our chowder. So in our bacon drippings, we're going to add some onions and celery and butternut squash or pumpkin. I like using pumpkin this time of year because I get the pumpkin seeds and I can toast them up. Season it up with a little salt. We don't need pepper yet. We're gonna wait because we've got so many different flavors going on with our curry blend. We're also going to get some heat out of our chili peppers. I put in one mild red, this is a Fresno pepper, and one hot green chili of any sort. Serrano, jalapeno, uh, green finger chilies. If you want it less spicy, take out the seeds and the ribs. The guts of a pepper provided its heat. All of that's going down into our bacon drippings and we started the pan with olive oil or any neutral oil, oil that you can see through. Let that start to sweat out. Then we're going to grate in our ginger and this is what fresh turmeric looks like. Garlic I put in everything. Uh, and the corn, we can either use store-bought frozen uh, charred corn kernels, fire roasted corn kernels, available in your freezer section, or we're getting to the end of it, but if you can get fresh corn on the cob, put a small bowl upside down inside a large bowl, stand the corn up on its end and scrape the cob so that the kernels go into the bowl. Now my favorite ingredients are a handful of curry leaves, which you can order online. They look like this, they sell them fresh or dried. This is not necessary, this is gilding the lily. So a handful of curry leaves and our own homemade curry spice blend or two palmfuls of store-bought curry powder. Flip that around. And then we're gonna add some stock, vegetable or, or chicken. And if you wanna cut in a little seafood stock, you can, because remember, we're still gonna finish this dish with about a pound of crab meat. Mm. So in goes some stock. It's supposed to be chowder, so you want it to be nice and thick. That looks good. I just put in a quart of bone brodo. You wanna just run your fingers gently through the crab. Don't break it up too much, but just feel and make sure you got all the pieces of bone intended out. In goes our pound of crab, about two cups of creamy, thick Greek yogurt. Instead of making a milk-based chowder and starting with roux or flour and butter, we stir in the tangy yogurt to make it nice and creamy and give it that balance. I wish you could smell this, it's truly amazing. So here's our glorious bowl of chowder. Mm. Now, we're gonna top it with a little fresh dill, some scallions, and what's left of the bacon. <laughs> and if you use pumpkin instead of butternut squash, you get the pumpkin seeds. And I like to serve that with some charred garlic naan bread on the side, brushed with melted butter. Come on.